Finally this evening, keeping a good relationship between us and nature is what the Chewankee Foundation is all about. Every year it hosts several hundred nature talks. New Center Maine photojournalist Sebastian Benage stopped by one of them to learn about mice and moose and everything in between. Did anyone figure out what kind of animals we're going to talk about today? We share this planet with so many different animals, so we like to educate how to coexist with those animals and understand them a little bit better. Mammals have shark teeth. Yeah, some of them do. We're gonna I have some animal artifacts with me, all mammal related, um, some animal mounts, different feet and fur types. Our supporters uh, here at Seven Lakes are very fond of uh, the creatures and uh, the places where they live in our region. And Chewankee teaches them a lot more than they might currently know about those critters. From a moose. What's really Sometimes we see fears of animals uh, that comes from misunderstanding of them, so we like to dispel some of those myths. We travel to many schools, and some schools will be there to see every grade in the school. We go year after year to a lot of schools. It's really hard to say whether the young kids or the uh, uh, kids who are young at heart um, get more out of the presentation. Show the number one, two, or three so I can see everyone's guesses. What the goal of our outreach is to impact as many communities as we can to get them to understand more about the wildlife in their backyard or in the community surrounding them. And maybe when they're looking at how they maybe cut their woodlot or um, what impacts they have as, as individuals on the landscape, um, they'll think about the fact that they share that landscape with a lot of other creatures. Any guesses yet? What's your guess? Ferret. Ooh, that's a good guess. It's not a ferret. Possum. Nicely done!